welcome the lovely Bryce Dallas Howard, everybody. Bryce Dallas Howard. No, we don't. Yeah. No, we don't use them. We have them because, for union reasons, uh, late night talk show hosts, uh, you got to have a blue card with questions on it. So mm. we have them, and then we throw them away. What if it was like a yellow card, or an, I mean, an orange card? It has to be wait, a blue wait! Card. You're taking the surrealism too far. <laughs> a yellow card, you say? Mm -hmm. No, it can't be. May I compliment you on your dress, by the way? Oh, it's thank fantastic. You, you thank look you. sensational. Oh, that's nice. It's you're like, and and I mean this in the most respectful way. Mm. You're, you're kind of like a, some form of confectionery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of, you're, you're like a delightful candy treat. Yeah, that's the, what I was going for, it's a, and, and it works. Because it is Dolly's birthday. Dolly's birthday. It's a big day here. Yeah. We always celebrate it once. This yeah. is it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's actually, um, it's a big day for my family. Why? Well, because um, they, they actually, last week, they bought a Salvador Dolly statue. What are the odds of that? Are you kidding me? I know. So we're all celebrating. I can imagine the whole place is going nuts. Your yeah. dad will be like, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Screw the movie coming out. Let's go and look at the statue. Yeah. No, I mean, it's like we're worshipping it. Like it's like a false no, no, idol. No, no, no. Don't worship it okay. as a false That doesn't end well. Oh. Well, I mean, it's, it is interesting, though. I mean, I'm, I'm really not kidding here. Um, my, my parents just bought it, and it's in their apartment, and they brought us all over, and they're very excited. And my mom was like, just don't walk by it because everybody stubs their toe. No, this like is like on the statue. This is a statue by Salvador Dali. Yes. And what what is it of? It it doesn't really make any sense. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like that I, sounds I, I, about <laughs> right. Actually, yeah. <laughs> like I couldn't describe it. Yeah. Well, that, it's like a. Like, yeah. Yeah. No. That. I think I know. Do that. That last bit again. Oh well, it's like kind of smooth, and then it just is like. Yeah. No. That bit. Yeah. <laughs> do you do that in the Terminator movie? That. <laughs> No, no, you... they didn't pay me enough. <laughs> Let me talk to you about CBS. <laughs> if you want to talk about that. Now, in, this is the movie where uh, Christian Bale had the, the when they, they were filming it, he had the, the thing. Where yes, you, a yeah. moment, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's, a, that's We all have our moments. Yeah, oh, know. no. Yeah. I actually, I remember the night it happened, I defended him. I said, come on, you pay a guy to be emotionally unstable, mm -hmm. and then he's emotionally unstable, and you get all upset about it. I mean, <laughs> That's what, that, he's doing his job. He's, mm -hmm. You pay him to be crazy, he's crazy, you tape it and go, look how crazy he is! You know, he's Christian Bale, he, he's not, he's not, you know, Brian Williams, he's, he's Christian Bale! Yeah. He's crazy, he's meant to be crazy, yeah. don't you? Or, or not. Well, um. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, it was really strange because, um, that that particular day, he was he was doing a scene where he was supposed to be losing his mind. Right. Um, and he lost his mind. And yeah, he's a good actor. Yeah, he is a good actor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but afterwards, I did say to him, I was like, "Gosh, Kristen, you 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 have a really bad temper." Yeah. And um and he he was like, "Yes, in that moment, yes, I did." I mean, he felt he just he felt awful about it, and and um. And yeah, apologize profusely to everyone, and and then of course just the tapes being released. It's just such an invasion of privacy. And, yeah, no. Yeah. I think he should have done the Russell Crowe thing. Remember when Russell Crowe threw the phone at that jerk in the hotel, <laughs> and then everybody's like, "Oh, Russell, you have to go to rehab," and he's like, "No." <laughs> no. And then, and then he said, he said to Russell Crowe, Did you, "Have you learned anything?" It was some hotel in New York. Have you learned anything about this? And he said, "Yeah, next time I'm gonna stay at the Four Seasons." That's what he said. Are you serious? That's what he said. Yeah, I think actually that happened while he was promoting Beautiful Mind. My dad's <laughs> really? I don't know what it is about myself and my dad and the Howards. We kind of elicit these responses from You make from people, people crazy. <laughs> you make people crazy. And I, I, Henry, of course, uh, is your godfather. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Is he a good godfather? Oh, I mean, he's better than Marlon Brando. <laughs> I mean, he is. No, Wait, he's an incredible Was Marlon godfather. Brando your godfather at any point? Well, he got demoted. Really? Yeah. Oh. No, no. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, my dad being in the business for 50 years, that could actually be taken. Yeah, that could, you could yeah. take it seriously, yeah. No. no, no, Henry's always been my godfather. Right, so there was no Brando Winkler face-off or anything like that. <laughs> but I would have really have liked to have seen that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I might draw it later. <laughs> no? For Dali's birthday. Of course, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> did well? Uh, did you? Was he? No, you'd be too young. The happy days would be done by the time he, he was he was uh, your mm -hmm. godfather. So it wasn't like he was going hey at the, funer uh, the, <laughs> uh, the funeral. I said the funeral. The I meant to say funeral. christening, and I said funeral. Yeah, and it was my oh, birthday. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's that's horrible. That was a Freudian slip. I yeah. feel terribly sorry about that. Are there you like your feelings towards me? No, no, not at all. No, I don't believe in that. I'm not a big disciple of Freud, actually. I oh, okay. No, no. Are you a disciple of Freud? Do you think? Um, no, no, no. I'm not. Who do you like? You, Carl Jung. You like Carl Jung? Uh, I uh, Kierkegaard. Kierkegaard. Mm -hmm. And now you're talking my language. Oh yeah. Yo, I loves me a bit of Kierkegaard. Oh yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you uh, have you read the either or uh, the big? No. The thing about Kierkegaard is, he said he was Danish. Uh, Danish, wouldn't he? Yeah, Philosopher. he was Danish. Yeah. He said uh, he said only the noble of heart are called to difficulty. Mm -hmm. And then what he did is he made his work so indecipherable that only people who really, really wanted to read it would yeah, read it. Yeah, who that, really cared about it. Yeah, that's, that, he did it on purpose. Mm. Bastard. <laughs> because it's actually really hard to read. Yeah, I mean, I, I've read sort of like I guess the Cliff's Notes version of that. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> well, that's not very Kierkegaardian of you, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, no, to, to be to perfectly honest, no, no, I have, I have read some Kierkegaard, and it is really difficult it's to understand. It's yeah. and then, But then it's, it's the existential philosophers of the 20th century who really went in and tried to understand what he was writing, and then those are the people that I kind of... Uh, fell in love with, but Sartre, they were... Sartre, are we talking here? Sartre? Sartre, yeah, yeah. a bit. You know, he's I mean, French, he's, you know, yeah, and a, a bit commerciony, but, um, yeah, I mean, French. I don't like nihilism. I'm not into nihilism. Right. At all. No. And what I love... Good, because we wouldn't have that round here. <laughs> no. We Kierkegaard would... was religious. He was a religious man. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. I, think he was I believe he was Christian, Kierkegaard. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's true, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I like to make stuff up and seem like I'm brainy. Oh. You ever do that? I, I do mean, that. doesn't everybody... No. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't think everybody is. Some people go, oh, no, I'm just stupid. Uh, <laughs> but then they're not, you see. So they do the opposite no, thing. No, they're they, the brilliant ones. Yes, they're, they're very, the geniuses. That's right. They're yeah. clever, yeah. and they pretend to be mm -hmm. silly, and then you lose all your money at pool. Yeah. No, but that's, but that's dangerous. Is it? I mean, it is legitimately dangerous to make up something about something that you know nothing about, because what if you're talking to somebody who knows a lot about it, and then, I mean, that's very surreal. Yeah. You want a drink, then? <laughs> oh you got you got a drink over there. I've that got kind it. of looks like the um, thing, the uh, you know, there, the dollar. Yeah, thing. You, oh, it looks. I like, mean, it really does. Really? Yeah, kind of. No, Except it's bigger and um, it's like more dangerous because you really do legitimately stub your toe. You could, if you stub your toe on this, you would have to go to hospital for poison injection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's poison in there. <laughs> It, it's a soda. All right, it's a soda. It's not really poison. It's a soda. Could be poisonous though if you were a dog and you didn't like soda. Because you know when dogs eat chocolate, it's poisonous to them, but it's not poisonous to us. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure there's a creature that has that with soda. Yeah. Like soda's not poisonous to me, but perhaps to an orangutan or a, a badger or something, they would drink soda and it would be like, "Good night, Margaret." Awful. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it should be poisonous, probably. Is it soda? Yeah. Are you something against soda? Well, I mean... Come on, let's hear it. What's the Al-Qaeda stance <laughs> on soda, then? I don't know. I mean, it's, it seems all unnatural, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. That's what I like about it, though. Mm. <laughs> you know, I, I'm very excited to see this film. We're completely out of time, but I will go and see this Terminator movie. Congratulations. This is a huge, a huge movie. I'm sure it'll be a huge Oh, fit. thank you. It's yeah, lovely I'm to excited. meet you. Bryce Dallas Howard, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, no, we're, so you want a mouth organ then? <clears throat> Sorry, so you want a mouth organ then? <laughs> Like dogs at the other studios were gonna go, what? As long as that's not the one you were using before. No, 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 you get a fresh one. Look, okay, you just great. Uh, open up the box and you get one of your own, look. I get to open a box and take out a mouth organ? <laughs> really? Don't say it like it sounds dirty. Actually, do say it like it sounds. <laughs> Yeah, uh, now, can you I, play? Because if no. you can play, you can win the golden medal. Well, which way do I blow? Well, you just, How do I blow? <laughs> I think you know just fine. Uh, imagine it's Valentine's Day, you woke up and you forgot to get a present, all right?
Touche, touche. Seriously. <laughs> That was too much. Wasn't that too much? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, a little bit too much. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Made myself laugh, though.